Okay, so we'd like to like to show you what's the significance of the uh, partial derivative uh, uh, geometrically. So say this is geometrically. It's blue. Okay. partial derivative. Okay, let's see. So suppose we have a function of two variables. So uh, we let d equals function of two variables and we fix a, a point. Take a point, and then uh, well, not fixed, but uh, uh, consider the point here. All right. So let's uh, make some graph. So this is the standard. Then Then you have a, um, in general, we have a surface. Okay. So this is D equals F X of Y. And we fix a, a point here. This is not, this is Y not, this is, the x axis, this is y axis, and this is z axis. Okay, so this point here is we project the because that is the value. Okay, so this is the The of sorry. the height is x dot okay. So let's uh, fix one of the x dot or y dot. So let's uh, fix y dot. Okay. So consider f x naught y so y is the variable so x naught is a fix so you have this one here And project it to the the, the surface. Get this. Suppose you have this one. So you get there, for example. Okay. So then this is the point here. All right. So when you consider 
uh, with big, then you can compute this one here. We'll try to compute. F of x dot y plus h, y half plus h. Okay. So this is the point. And we have second point here. So we, this is supposed to be the point. And this is x naught. And here you have, uh, say, this is x naught plus h. And you project this up. And you take the line why it is That's the thing. So this is the slope of the of the second line. Of this line here. When you have another thing, say this is x naught plus h, why not? Okay. So you have another like a a wall. <clears throat> here. And you get something. And this is the, you have another, sorry. So basically it tells you that the FTS is This point is slope slope of tangent line of the graph <clears throat> and let's say P equals F, let's see. Yeah. Fix the Y naught. <clears throat> Fix the Y naught is this uh, this curve here. So that's X. While the green one. This one, C equals F, you fix X naught and vary Y. This only one variables. This one, the, the blue one, also one variables. And for one variables, the meaning of the slope of tangent line is here. Okay, so similarly, Okay. 
is the slope of tangent line of the graph z equals let's see y so y varies and then sorry i forgot to mention at the point okay so here if you have uh, in general if you have a two sorry let's Uh, surface okay. and a point. So you have two directions. You have uh, these directions. And you have these directions. X directions. So you have two slopes, whether this one, okay, or this one. So slope for this, uh, these two two lines here, the tangent, two tangent here, is determined by partial derivative. I would say two generic uh, direction of tangent lines. Each one of these be determined by <coughs> partial derivative. So let's go back to the the picture. My picture is not as good as the one from the book. Let's, let's show you, let me show you the one from the book. Okay, so let's see, this is the picture. So this is the <clears throat> Of f of x of y. Okay, this is the point x naught y naught. Okay, so this graph over here you get by fixing y naught. Fix y naught very x. Okay. And as a graph, as a graph, as a curve, you have tangent lines. P. The slope of this tangent line is, uh, is this line, f of x. Slope of this, f, Sorry, yeah, the FDX slope. Okay. On the other hand, this direction, see, if you fix X naught, okay, so you vary Y, you get this curve. So this curve is Z equals fix x naught, very y. Okay, so you have a curve, you have a tangent lines. The slope of this tangent line is the f dy. Okay. So that's the meaning of the, 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 uh, the 
Pacheco, partial derivatives. Okay. So let's. This higher partial difference. Let's do example for the variable. For example, uh, this 22. Okay, so this one uh, asks you to find partial derivative at some point, as a given point. Okay, so let's compute the partial derivatives. Partial derivative with respect to x of this is, and uh, this is ln, so the derivative is 1 over. So uh, by chain rule, you get to multiply by the derivative that's inside. In this case, partial derivative. This is x. So you have to x. Derivative of this, just y. Right? So this uh, um, x. So when you plug in one, negative 1 more. Okay. Just plug in 1 more, you get uh, negative 2 plus 4 over, uh, this is 1, x times y minus 4 plus y squared. So negative 2 so this is negative 3 plus this is 3. Okay. While fy, partial derivative with respect to y, is, well, let's say, 1 over. And the uh, partial y of uh, this uh, x squared plus xy plus y. So you get uh, on the x here plus 2y. So the, the value at this point is all right, so negative one plus eight over is the same. There we go. All right, 26, for example.
okay. so find the slope of tangent of the curve intersectional surface and the plane. This one at the point A and point B. All right. So what does this mean here? Uh, just uh, give you an idea what's, uh, what's happening here. So you're given a, a surface. Okay. And you uh, intersect that with a plane x equals one. So then we have x equals one, for example. At x equals one, this gives you I know So this is B equals F uh, X uh, the other way around. X is X is one. Yeah, right. I mean, X is X one. Y varies. Okay, so that, that's right. Okay, so this is the intersections. And you got to find the points at, so this is one variable. And you need to find this here. So this is x, y, x not y not. Okay, all right. So then here's, you substitute x equals one or fix x equals one. So you get a curve. This defines a curve, which, which if you x equals one, so it becomes three z equals square root of, this is 36, x equals one you got minus nine minus four y squared so this uh, 27 yeah okay so that's the, the curve so the curve one third times square root of this seven minus four y squared, right? Okay, so the slope is the slope is in this case would be bz over well because you fix x and vary y, so you take the with respect to y. Okay, at this point here. All right, so where's that z? That z comes from this one. Okay, so that means. Um, Case Y respect to and you can compute directly from here, or you can compute the derivative of this respect to because in this case Z is a function of y only okay but if you take derivative a partial derivative then we see the y keep this one all right so let's compute this so you get one third okay this is take the one third out uh, to the right then you have square root square root you take derivative because uh, 
uh, becomes power one half becomes power negative one half. So you have this one. Okay. And take the derivatives, partial derivative with respect to y on the top. Here you get this. So you get minus eight y. Right? So when you plug in this number, you get one third and minus eight y so becomes sixteen. So this thirty six minus nine minus What is four or negative sixteen? All right, so one third sixteen over square root of twenty twenty eleven. So there you go. That's the slope. Okay. Questions? All right. Um, for example, So given a temperature on the pendle plate is given by this two variable t of x y so this polynomial, polynomial or plus two x squared plus y cubed. So find the rate of change of temperature. So the derivatives. So the idea is. So change this derivative of the temperature. So in this case, because they, we have uh, two variables, this partial derivative. If we start moving from three to in the direction of positive y-axis. Okay, so move to so from three to you move to uh, y axis, y keeping the, the x, keep the so two plus h. So keeping move in y directions. Now keeping That means you vary the y. So when you vary the y, so this problem becomes actually a partial derivative respect to y. Okay. Compute it at the point three two. So that means must be the this problem means the word problem. All right. So when we compute this, the the t d y. Uh, so that's the three y squared. 
you plug in three two and you get uh, is two two four four is twelve. Okay. So this is the rate of change of temperature in y directions. Temperature change in y direction at three. Okay. All right, one more example. Yes, this one here. All right, here. A function of two variables satisfy Laplace equation. Okay, so this is what they call Laplace equations. So this is a, since you're in engineering, <coughs> uh, a lot of a, especially chemical engineering, a lot of uh, reactions, uh, after the reaction, so this is the equilibrium state of a, of say a, a liquid or something, if you mix it, after you mix it. This equilibrium state <coughs> will satisfy what we call Laplace equations. So F is two variables, F of x, y. So you have, and you can compute second derivative with respect to x, second derivative with respect to y. When you have, so Laplace equations, different equations, the phase equals zero. Okay, so this is the Laplace equations. Okay, and function satisfying Laplace equation is called V harmonic. And we'll show this is harmonic. Well, we'll show on the 30, 34. Okay, so given x and y is ln of and we compute fx to so here compute derivative the important thing is x x f y so compute fx fx is just or x squared plus four y squared and derivative of respect to x to so just eight x. Fy is well that's symmetric. So f x x take second derivative of derivative with respect to x again of x and becomes eight times yeah. subtract eight uh, x times derivative of this so another eight x so this is sixteen okay while FYY here is so there's this respect to Y, so it's eight. Um, 
minus over the mu of z. Okay. So when you sum f a, sum these two second derivative, you get on the top you have let's see uh, you subtract right oh no no you add because you add then you have 16 16 16 8 8 uh, this is four. Minus, 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 this before. Uh, so then this is a cancel. Okay. That's the reason. So F is harmonic. All right. So then that's an example. All right. So then that's the other the computations. All right. So let's uh, continue with this uh, uh, tomorrow. Okay, any questions? Start by third.